In this lesson, I'll show you how to create a unique plaster material, this one. The process of creating materials always involves creativity and not just technical skills. This is especially true for unconventional material like this plaster. I'll guide you through the entire process and you'll see that you don't have to limit yourself to just one map or one shader. We have a lot more creative possibilities available to us. So let's get started. I have already customized Corona physical material with diffuse color. After that, I customized roughness to get some reflection for my walls. And then I did searching for plaster shader in Quixel Megascans, Polygon and Texturescom. The best and the most different result I found in Texturescom. So I just type plaster and it gives me a lot of different results for shaders. So you can select the one that will fit to your situation. I have opened some that catched my attention. And you can see that you can reach absolutely different result if you're going to use one or another maps. I stopped with this shader. I really like pattern and the strokes of it. So I'm going to use this displacement map. I don't like it in the biggest size because in my material I want to have big strokes, not small. And I don't want to lose any quality in my final render. I'll drop it from my folder. And now I can connect to displace. I can show this map in the viewport, so right click show shaded material in the viewport and we definitely need some UV, so I can add UV map, box type and we can see size. But in this lesson I'm going to show you another way how you can generate your UV. So I'm going to delete my UV map, right click on the line and change material map type and I'm going to use Corona Trip Planner. So this map is generating UVs for your object automatically. So you can select it, keep old and press OK. So I'm going to set some max level in my display so you will see how it will work in the render because we're not able to see any result in the viewport. So I'll set here 100 and straight away it's something going on here. Definitely we need to increase size of our map. Right? But you can see that it's going very well along all the walls. I'll select Corona Tree Planner and I'll change scale. Let's say 1000. And here we go. We got our pattern. But as I said, we need to create huge pattern for our walls. So I'll set, let's say 5000 or even bigger. So 15000. Uh, here is the problem not because of UV but because of displacement. I said too big amount. Let's say minus 20 and 20. And now we can see corners become normal. Good. Actually the size I do like. Maybe I would lower a little bit the main texture. So you can do it in trip planner as well if you use Z coordinate or if you want to move it to the side then you can customize offset by X coordinate or Y coordinate. Let's move it a bit by height and put it down. Maybe even lower. Mm -hmm. Now it's good. The amount of displacement I do like but the main texture is quite soft and I want to add some roughness here. So I did another searching. I was searching for concrete but not too rough otherwise it will kill all our previous displacement. So I select this shader, which give you unevenness for your material, some scratches, some nice feeling of this material, and I'm going to use it for normal. I'll select normal map and drag it to material editor. Connect it to maps Corona, Corona normal, into the normal. And again, I will need tree planner just for this map as well. So I'll connect Corona normal to Corona Trip Planner to X coordinate. You can see here use map X for all X's. So if you connect to X coordinate, it will be applied for all coordinates. Next, select Corona Normal and set add gamma to input. It's important. After that, I can connect Corona Trip Planner to bump. I'll turn off displays so I'll see only how this map works. 
And again, you can see that it's super small. I need to increase size in Corona Tree Planner. So I'll set 1000 and I think it would be enough. I'll return my displacement to see how they work together. I can 2D pan zoom in some of the area to see closer all the details. And you can compare by turn off normal map and turn it on again. So turn off base bump to see how it was before. And now with it. I'll select corona normal and increase strength. I think we need it. Now it's good. I do like all these scratches, bumps and unevenness. And let's see what we can do more. Now it looks way more better with two maps, but I won't stop on it. And I want to add one more map for bump to get even better result. So I have this set for many years. You can search it in internet. It have different kind of plaster textures. So here you can see plaster, like literally this set is, I believe it's like more than 15 years already, but still they are very, very useful. And you can see it have very different kind of plaster textures here. And I'm going to use this one. But I had one issue here, the size of the textures. Since they are very old, it wasn't common to have a big size of the textures. And I had to solve it and make it bigger. So that's the one that I'm going to use. And you can see the size is 2K only, and it won't be enough for final render. So I went to Magnific and I scale it up four times more to get 8K texture. So it was before and I get it in way more better quality for my material. Now we can use it. So I'll return to 3ds Max and drop my new texture to the field. Since it's not normal map, I'm going to use it in additional bump. Here in Corona Normal, you can see additional bump. It's exactly for black and white texture. So I can connect it. I can see that something is appear in the very small size. I can turn off all my maps, I can connect straight away to the bomb to see the size of it. Nothing going on because we don't have any planner. So I'm going to customize it. Right click, change material map type, Corona Tree Planner map. Keep old. Now we can customize size here. So I'll start with 1000, but we'll definitely need more. 4K is way more better, but maybe a little more. This one looks very good. The strength of the map is probably too huge, but I'm not going to customize it now in Mature because we're going to return it to our Corona Normal slot. So I'll return our Corona Normal to Bump. And this tree planner I'm going to connect to the additional bump. Now they are mixed together without displacement. Displacement is still out, but I'm going to customize amount of my new map. So I'll go to Corona Normal and here you can find strength of this map. So I'll set 0, 5, so it won't be that intensive and maybe a little less, so 0, 4. Now it look way more softer and nicer and I can return my displacement to see how they work together. And here you can see our final result with mixing all these maps. So guys, don't be afraid to experiment until you achieve your desired result.